What would you do if you suddenly lost your freedom? This was the sound that was most likely heard as Africans of the Aquamu tribe communicated and coordinated the slave revolt of 1733. These Africans had been enslaved, traded, and brought to St. John by the Danish to work their plantations. The Aquamu were once noble Africans who held great power over other tribes. Once enslaved, they were highly motivated to regain their freedom. By transporting weapons hidden in bundles of firewood, they overtook the Danish fort and began a six-month reign of terror, power, and freedom. They made their way across the island, burning plantations and slaying their enemies and resistors, even fellow Africans who refused to join them. It took the combined forces of three colonial powers to defeat the rebels, although several chose to take their own lives rather than to have them taken. In 1848, the Danish abolished slavery in the Danish West Indies. Today, Virgin Islands National Park provides a setting for exploring the experience of enslaved Africans and learning about the layers of history and patterns of change within the institution of slavery over time.